Lorenzo Carter is coming off the first multi-sack game of his career last weekend against Dallas. Lorenzo, I'm sure that had to feel really good. What was it that was clicking so well for you against the Cowboys? Uh, I think it was just being aggressive. Uh, we knew what we had to do to try to go out there and get a win. And it's going to start with the defense being aggressive, so that's what we had to go out there and do. This has got to be a prideful year for you coming back off the Achilles surgery. I mean, they tell you a lot of times it takes two years for a guy to fully get back. How do you think you perform physically this year? And do you think next year you'll be even better? Oh, yeah, for sure. Next year, I feel like it's just going to be even better strides ahead. But that rehab process for an Achilles is tough. Uh, you got to build all those muscles back and that explosiveness. But I think I've done a good job just working with the trainers. They've done a good job making sure I do everything I got to do to try to go out there every Sunday and be prepared. Let me ask you about some of the Georgia Bulldogs who are teammates of yours right now. There are six Bulldogs on this squad. I know Jeez. it seems like a lot, and, and it really yeah. is. But let's start with Andrew Thomas, a guy who you played with at Georgia. Could you tell me what you've seen in terms of his progression the first two years in the league? Oh, uh, yeah. A guy like that, he's going he's gonna to come in and do his job, work hard every day. Uh, coming in as a freshman at Georgia, I knew he was going to be special, so... Just to see him come out here and keep doing the things that he's doing, making those strides is great. And what have you seen of the growth of your fellow linebackers from Georgia, Ojolari and Crowder? Yeah, those two young guys came in and they had to step into big roles coming in immediately and they've done a great job. Uh, Tay being a play caller, signal caller, he's out there making sure he's communicating well and Aziz, he's doing everything he can to soak up information and just keep getting better. So I love it. How much of you relish maybe having a big brother role, having those guys as young pups coming up now playing on your team once again in the pros? Yeah, it's kind of cool because, uh, like, when you get to the pro level, everybody's kind of grown and everybody still kind of knows what they're doing. We're all professionals at this point. But just to have that leadership with you where you have guys that can kind of support you and give you somebody to lean on, that's what I'm trying to be. I enjoy playing with them guys, and I'm, I hope they enjoy playing with me. <laughs> Let's talk for a second about this week's game coming up. Uh, Jake Fromm is certainly in the mix to potentially be the starter. From what you've seen of him in your days at Georgia, what can you tell people about what to expect? Uh, yeah, Jake, he's a he's a great quarterback. Um, at Georgia, he did a great job just making sure we stayed in games and he did what he had to do to uh, put us in positions to win. So I'm saying him to do the same thing. He's great when it comes to preparing for the game plan, getting that stuff down. So I'm looking forward to it. Your defense uh, picked off Jalen Hurts of Philadelphia three times about a month ago when you played, and that was a huge key to winning the game. Defensively, when you see all the weaponry that he's got and the legs and everything else, how difficult is it to repeat that kind of performance defensively again? It's the NFL. Uh, a lot of teams have a lot of weapons, and I think that's the thing about the NFL. Everybody's kind of even. Everybody has those elite weapons, but it's just to try to limit the explosive plays, limit those game wreckers, because uh, if you let it happen, then they can wreck the game for sure with those skilled players. But just try to limit as many plays as we can and get off the field as much as we can. Jalen Hurts had eight carries for 77 yards that day. How is he different than other quarterbacks who like to run? Uh, I say he's he's kind of a running back. He has that running back body, that running back frame. Um, he's an aggressive runner when he actually pulls it down the run. And, uh, I don't think he's scared to make those improvising plays. Uh, when it, when stuff starts to break down in the backfield, he's one of those guys that you really got to look out for that's going to pull it down and make those big runs. Now, one guy who doesn't look as athletic, at least from afar, is Goddard. Yet he leads all tight ends in average yards per catch this year in the NFL at 15 a pop. Oh, yeah. What makes him so dangerous to deal with? I think he's just coming into his own. Um, he's he's been fitting in that system, um, and now it's his time to actually just be that guy. So he's getting his chances and making the most of it. For us, we just got to try to eliminate those chances and just make sure we stay on them all day, make it a hard day for him. Now, since you played the Eagles, they're using more of Jordan Howard, more of a power runner than they are Scott, who's given the Giants trouble in the past because of his speed and his quicks. How do you see their running game developing these days with not only Howard, but Sanders running the ball? Yeah, they, like you said, they got a Marriott of runners. Um, they can put different runners in, have different styles. But at the end of the day, we know they want to run the ball. And they have built that over the past couple of weeks. And it just comes down to us being able to play the run and see who, who wants it more. Lorenzo Carter, always good to see you. Best of luck. Have a great holiday. Thank you. You too.